So this train used to go across the bridge that I'm going to and this bridge that I'm going to is famous because when uh, prisoners of war came back from North Korea they walked across the bridge it was 12,000 so this bridge this one was built in 2004 when South Korea was in good relations with North Korea and the goal was to travel uh, through North Korea to China, Russia and Europe by train. But then in 2006 they developed a nuclear program and so it's not used. But maybe in the future if they make peace we can use it. So this train used to run between South and North Korea and then it was bombed during the war. Um, you can see the uh, hole around, you can see more shrapnel damage. And then it was stuck in the DMZ for maybe about 50 years until it was brought out and put here. You can see the damage here. So it was rusting in the DMZ zone, then it was brought here to remind everyone of the terrors, horrors of war. Gosh. So I've just walked from the train and the bridge is that way and now I'm going to the peace bell. So yeah, this bell was built to represent the 21st century. I read that there are 21 steps and it weighs 21, maybe it's tons, 21 something. I'll have to double check it and put it in the subtitles. Let's see, when do they rain? Mm. Ringing time, 10 to 5, 7 strikes. Because you have to pay to ring it. Ooh. Okay. And actually, the next place take you to is the one I'm most interested in. Let's go now. So next we're going to <laughs> is a place that North Koreans that live in South Korea, they can come to do their ancestral rites. So at Chuseok, when it's normal for Koreans to do the chaser and the bowing to their ancestors and offering the ancestral food ancestral food offering ritual food ritual offering um, trying not to make it sound culty <laughs> so this is where North Koreans can come to do their ritual because obviously their ancestors might still live uh, might be not living in North Korea ah, this one Oh, here we go. Mangbe Dam. So, 
so after 36 years I'm liberated and refugees built a temporary altar on every Chusok and they held their event there to honor their ancestors and parents who they had left behind in North Korea and they longed for a permanent altar Ah, five North Korean provinces, a non-reclaimed area in Gyeonggi. And they are carved in, Gyeonggi-do and Gangwon are carved in the seven granite folding screens. So let's go see. So the middle one is the earnest longing for reunification. And then in the background, we have the five North Korean provinces, Gyeonggi and Gangwon. Uh, what's this one? Ang... Kang... Kumgang... San... Gangwondo. Gangwondo. Okay, so this one is in South Korea, Gangwondo. Let's see, can we read this one? Kyo... Gong? Kyo Jong? Gyeonggi Do... Is this Gyeonggi Do? Am I dumb? Sorry, I'm struggling to read the writing. What is this one? Him? Him? I swear I can read Korean, but I can't. I'm struggling to read this. Him Kyung Namdo. I'll have to ask my husband if he even knows. Pyongan Bukdo. Ah, so this could be the province that Pyongyang is in, maybe. Um, Pyo oh, here we go, Pyongan Namdo. So this one is the south, Pyongan south, and this one is Pyongan, Pyongan north. So maybe, yeah. Uh, what is this one? Looks like an agricultural county. This one is Huang. Hey, hey. So, this is where they would do their rituals. So here, incense, and somebody has left some sprite and some water for their ancestors. And it's not here, but that is the lid from a soju bottle, I believe. Somebody's left some shoes. That's very nice. That sign just said, don't climb on there, if you're curious. So earlier, I walked on this railway and I was confused because I thought I just didn't know the name of these cities in South Korea, but it's because they are in North Korea. And it took me until I got to Pyongyang to see that. So. Like it shows where Pyongyang is on the map. This is how this railway goes up to Pyongyang, or it did do in the past. Uh, aha, so it's Pyongyang, Pyongyang Namdo, if we were looking at the um, stone tablets before. And it's 208 kilometers. Let's see. Oh, and it just. Each one of these cities is a little bit further north. So this one, 290 kilometers. 300, 400 kilometers. Oh, that must be the most northern city, sorry, that this line followed. And it's called Shiniju, 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 oh, bad pronunciation. And then this just oh, keeps going <laughs> to the train that we looked at before. Okay. Okay. And then eventually it would have gone across the bridge built by the Japanese and into North Korea. Oh, Bye bye. See you in one year.
So lunch is it's called a tubu jungle, tofu jungle. <laughs> um, it means that there's lots of vegetables, some meat, lots of tubu, probably some noodles. I think, fingers crossed, maybe noodles. And when it all cooks up, it will be a red color. Time to take the gondola. So we go over part of the DMZ and to the observation area. <laughs> My name is Scott. Gondola. Ah, prices. conversation about this because this is a photo zone obviously and then right next to it there's a no photography sign so we were trying to decide if you're allowed to observatory but I think we've just realized we can't see North Korea from it because there is one more you know like this one it's unification observatory this is the one that we will go mm. like after this oh my gosh <laughs> fine yeah yeah this one is like a just peace observatory so it's kind of different it's Odu uh -huh. and then this one is Burning, burning that you cannot really go through mm -hmm. for the airplanes. Ah. It's a warning for the airplane. So they're telling them that, that they're telling them, oh, you cannot really fly over this one. Ah. Oh, it's a no fly zone. So this, this is the observation deck, Hello. observation area. Okay, let's do. One more with my shirt clean because okay. it was like this. And this okay. is the river that it comes from North Korea okay, and it goes through the DMZ. It's called Imgak River. So that's the observation deck here. And now we're gonna walk to the art gallery that was the opposite direction so we can get some air con and cool down because it is about 35 degrees today so this is gallery greaves and something interesting I read about this online was when this was the American base American army I think it was a base I read that it was a bowling alley This is a letter from one of the soldiers to his mom. Oh, it's sorry, it's from him. So he became a student at 16, uh, a soldier at 16. And this letter was found in his diary uh, from his death site. So he died in the war, and this was in his uh, bloodstained diary, it was on him. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, it breaks my heart. 
I couldn't imagine receiving that letter. So this is Camp Greaves. Oh, so these are some media contents that were filmed here. So this is the very famous Descendants of the Sun drama. Begin again. begin again. I have never seen that. There is NCT, Fabo, Fabo, Chaoyong, filming of Fabo. Ah, BBC filmed here. CNN, oh, LA Times. That was the gallery, just going to meet everyone else now. And I think we're going to another location 